Now we begin. There's a few people in the Discord who know the rant that's about to occur. For those, I am sorry. For the rest, thank you for taking away from me the one thing I liked most about Tailwind. This is horrible. I hate this so much. Ah, God. Okay. So. <laughs> How did we get here? This is going to be a long talk. We're going to start with a code sandbox uh, and close a lot of these things. Cool. And it works with Tailwind. Good shit. We can delete everything else. So. Here's some Tailwind. What did I delete that? Okay, no, it is working. So, Tailwind. It's pretty cool. Let's me write things like this. Flex, BG Red 200. Uh, let's put two things in it instead of one. Uh, div. Div by. Cool, formats properly. So I can add flex dash call. And now it's flex column instead of row. Let's do this the way we used to before. Style equals display colon space quote flex end quote comma new line flex direction capital has to be capital D. So you have to press shift for that colon space quotes flex column, or I think it's just column for this, comma, background color, colon, space. Realize you don't have the background color you need for this off the top of your head. So you go to your design system, Tailwind Colors, Google search it, go through your docs, whatever you use for your color system, import it. Maybe you know off the top of your head the hex code. You probably don't, so you probably have to import it. We wanted the red 200, so I'm going to go yoink that. Realize that it has to have the hash or it's not actually a background color. Realize I grabbed the wrong one. And it looks like they've since changed it from the version of Tailwind that's in here. <laughs> this is life of doing inline styles. This is CSS and JS for somebody who asked earlier. This is Tailwind. I think we're all in agreement that this is this is bad. Like we, we have... We have concluded that this way is not the right way of doing things. <laughs> and as such, we will now talk about attributify, the, the way of doing things that we just looked at there. So it's going to look more like this one than that one. This isn't going to work because this isn't real code. We don't have Windy set up here. I'm not going to fucking bother. Uh, I don't know what the prefix for flex would be. I think it's just TW equals flex. Flex call. Let me go look at their example quick. How, how would I even? Where would I put flex? Which of these things does it go under? Okay, it's apparently it's just flex. I don't know. It doesn't say in the docs. <laughs> I I don't know. Flex and flex equals true would be the same in JSX. I'll do it that way just so it's like correct that way. Flex is true. Uh, back or BG equals red 200. I, I, would I put the direction under the flex? Like, would I do, like, a true call? Like, how do I define flex call? Do I do like that? Like, is this valid? I don't... You, you have taken the thing 
that was good about Tailwind and made it shit by doing this. You, you have taken the worst parts of this and the arguably one bad part of this, which is the tokens you have to remember. You just link, that's fine. Oh, can I play in this? It'd have to probably turn on Attributify because it needs to be compiled, so this won't actually work in here unless you have the compiler. So, yeah, that might not work. Yeah, okay. To those saying it says it's an opt-in feature, yeah. Like, if... If there was a restaurant and one of the options was dog shit for a meal and I'm like, hey, it's, it's weird that your restaurant serves dog shit. The proper response is, oh, it's opt in. Very excited about what could possibly happen in like Uno. I saw somebody re-rolled. Uh, how do I really feel about Wendy? I, I hope that that answers it, that Wendy Almost similar to React, Wendy let us experiment with tons of different things that could make Tailwind better, and the few that were good got stolen, and we use them in Tailwind now. Yes, Tailwind's better. Twin is really cool. I think Twin's exciting. Did you know that over half my viewers haven't subscribed yet? That's insane. Y'all just click these videos and listen to me shout and hope that the algorithm is going to show you the next one. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, maybe even the bell next to it so that you know when I'm posting videos. Also, if you didn't know this, almost all of my content is live streamed on Twitch while I'm making it. Everything on the YouTube is cuts, clips, whatever from my Twitch show. So if you're not already watching, make sure you go to twitch.tv slash Theo where I'm live every Wednesday around 2 or 3 p.m. I go live on Fridays pretty often as well. Thank you again for watching this video. Really excited. Thank you. Cool. That should be useful.